Okay, how's everybody doing? Uh, so, got the zombies finished. And this is the uh, customs I've actually got finished um, this month and last month. I had, you know, a few. So, these are going to be vehicles that some of them are going to go to my store, King of Cats Crafts. Uh, some of them I got attached to, and I'm going to keep them, and uh, some of my previous collection will go to the Etsy store, uh, because I'm running out of space, so I really can't keep everything I've got right now, but my loss is everyone else's gain. Um, I did want to show these off, though, because I think these really did turn out pretty well, and um, I figured we'll go ahead and start with this one here. Um, this is basically a Rusty's truck with twin mini guns and a ram. Uh, you got this lady here in a pink dress and a Kalashnikov, and it carries plenty of alcohol. Um, and, uh, you got a advertisement for some alcohol, uh, some whiskey in at the front there. That's a little bit of a risky, uh, photo. But it's so small, I don't think anyone can care. I don't think anyone's going to scream bloody murder about it. And plus, I think it's characteristic of uh, uh, a moonshiner. But it's got the uh, yellow and blue, and uh, it kind of turned out looking a bit like a um, Dale Earnhardt's Wrangler number three. Um... So you got a 50 gallon drum barrel and then you got boxes of Molotovs, you know, and, uh, this was a, a wrecker that I, I needed the, uh, the wrecker part off of, so I had this as a spare, but you got 3D printed wheels and then I just used a bit of sprue to make the, uh, the new hitch and, uh, 3D printed uh, these, uh, exhaust pipes, <coughs> and, uh, at least this one here, I decided to leave the, the, the wire off so you can actually see the, the crew inside, because I'm, like I said, if you can see inside, I usually put crew in there, well, I almost always put crew in there, and, um, uh, so at least now, this one, you can kind of see them driving, and they've got matching blue and yellow uniforms. And then, of course, you got her. Uh, she's more of the mascot kind of person. And the pink, and plus, I think the pink kind of uh, stands out on the yellow and blue of the driver and gunner. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty simple. I mean, it's just basically I painted it wood and trimmed it in some blue. Uh, to get the, uh, the hay pattern, that's just wood flock. I just, you know, filled it with Elmer's glue and covered it in wood flock. It's not uh, too hard to do that one. But I think the the effect looks good. And with, uh, carrying around Molotovs, you don't want them getting jostled around and, and breaking. Then you have a big mess, and then fire and death, and that's not what you want. You want to do fire and death to the other team. And uh, this is a, um, I think it's a Hot Wheels Rocket Fire. Yeah, rocket fire. Uh, use this as a dragster with armor and a machine gun. Kind of simple build. Um, really just added the machine gun and did a wheel swap and painted it. Um, the wheels, I think they come off of a Johnny Lightning. Uh, the, the back wheels do, and then the, the front wheels uh, are Hot Wheels wheels. But uh, they're kind of narrow, and I, I like these a lot better than the stock Hot Wheels ones that were on there because... Uh, the stock ones were kind of very thin profile, and they uh, didn't really have a good wasteland feel to them. But it was a fairly simple paint job. It's red, it's orange. It's good for your Idris teams, you know. Uh, but, you know, this one is definitely going to the store. And this one I'm not so sure I want to do the store, or I'm going to find a vehicle to replace it with, because I like how this one turned out. Um, this is... Uh, a dragon themed pink Dodge Ram with a magnetized uh, turret 
And you can see it's, it's kind of pulling the paint off. I really should have uh, put a varnish on it, but I didn't. This is another one that didn't print very well. You can kind of see the uh, where it, it, the resin kind of broke off a bit and didn't form quite as well as I was hoping. But if I get a better uh, flamethrower piece, I might swap that out. But I'm really happy with how that turned out you know and you got, uh again this is the uh temporary tattoo method of getting really good designs on your vehicles uh if you've got a large flat space and you got some temporary tattoos you know this this is how you do it um you know you'll just cut it out put it down and treat the car like you would uh skin and uh you know about 30 30 35 seconds you'll just peel it off and there's your image and then you take the magic fix all and it's a permanent decal and um so yeah i think the pink and the dragon looks really good um so yeah turret mounted flamethrower ram definitely a cult of the inferno kind of a vehicle um it's a fire motifs and dragons so i might call it puff the magic dragon even though puff was really a green one but mm, splitting hairs at that point um then you got this one this one i'm keeping <coughs> Ugh. something in my throat um but so this is a rutherford vehicle i made uh turret mounted rockets 3d printed myself 3D printed the peg so it can spin all the way around. And uh, a minigun. Because you can never have enough miniguns. And uh, this is a Dodge Airflow. Uh, it was originally the, uh, the Jurassic Park uh, Mosasaur one. I thought about keeping the Mosasaur image on it, but uh, I was like, yeah, I like this. I, I like the, the shape of this vehicle. And, uh, it just looks like something Rutherford would have. Plenty of space for, uh, ammo and, uh, beef up the engine and go to work. Um, got implements of Carnage pieces on it, too. And I think they just, they complement it very well. A uh, little bit of a Dark Angels theme to it, too, with the raven wing decals and stuff but that's more just like a, you know green knight kind of thing and uh I, don't know, I like how that one looks um so i can't wait to play that one this one's another one that's definitely going to the store this is the frog of moth um if you've played pathfinder you, you know what i'm talking about the uh the monster in that and um uh, it's got a harpoon front ram tank tracks um spotlight trailer there's no rules for a spotlight it's just you know it's a trailer to have and it's something i thought would be neat um you got old possum liquor that's from fallout i think and uh got these rub on transfers i'm not too happy with these rub on transfers they uh you can kind of see the uh the edges of the, the decal but uh it still looks good and if you come back this this far you it, it's it, it, it's really good this from this distance it's really only when you get real close to it you can see kind of where i have some disappointments with it but for tabletop it, it, it's pretty good uh, i got you know genuine stolen parts at the back uh fitting that rusty's theme and then you got a movie poster you know, on the back of the spotlight uh so uh, yeah that's 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 a frog of moth so I, I i think people will like that one and uh this is another order of the inferno vehicle this is a uh, order of the inferno ambulance uh with a flamethrower turret front ram and uh yeah use some word bearers imagery because uh the word bearers are in 40k they're kind of the closest thing to like the cult of the inferno with the whole 
uh, religion through fire kind of uh, deal they got going on. And uh, so that's kind of where I got the idea to do this uh, particular vehicle. And uh, yeah, that's that's one I'm probably going to keep. Uh, this one's one I'm on the fence about, but it's a buggy with arc lightning cannon. And then I've been calling it the habanero, um, uh, because of the color scheme. The color scheme really turned out well. I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, again, this is 3D printed from me. And, uh, I use the, uh, some store-bought skull things off of Etsy and I like the way that looks but uh then we got this one here and this was again kind of an homage to uh Gaslands TV the purple and the blue um uh, I think uh, certain people will enjoy this one very well and uh Again, it was a pretty simple one. It's mostly a wheel swap with uh, uh, implements of carnage rockets on it. But um, it definitely looks it looks it's a good wasteland vehicle. And uh, you know, if you notice, I can't stop rolling. All, a lot of my vehicles roll uh, unless they've got three D printed wheels like this one doesn't. Because I mean, this one, I mean, my hands not in the way. So three D printed wheels they don't roll, but like this one here. I play around with it, you know, but, uh, I know there, there, there's kind of a big debate about whether or not to let them roll, but, um, I kind of sit on the fence, and now this one here is, uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this, uh, but I'm definitely, this is one of my favorite ones that Kate, I did, this is an AMC, uh, Eagle, with a boat trailer, and then we have our, a uh, barbarian lady with uh, mechanics gloves and uh, hair flowing in the wind and a rear mounted mortar uh, in the boat and a uh, box full of grenades or other explosives to dissuade people from having getting too close unless they want to get in front of it because that's you know what the ram wants to do that ram, that ram looks nice. That's another part I 3D printed. And, uh, I'm really happy with how that ram looks. The, it's got a very mean profile for Rusty's build. <coughs> but, the star of the show, and the one I'm the most proud of, is this one. And this is for the Slans Car of the Month competition um uh, well last month's competition but this is the first video i've made to show it off and uh so the theme was cleaning so i have my rusty's uh cleaning monster truck and uh with a medium trailer side mounted flamethrowers and a ram and uh so you can see here, this is Granny's Mean Green Cleaning Machine. And uh, we've got a statue of Granny, which was just a 28mm uh, figure I had um, laying around, and I strapped it down. <laughs> uh, so Granny can always look after her uh, employees. Uh, and, uh, so then we got, uh, flamethrowers, and these are magnetized, so you have to bear with me here. I don't have this quite sitting in there right, so it's wobbly, but these actually turn, and let's see if I can come up here and get my finger out of the way, and you can see that they do... In fact, move stiffly, but they do move. They're they're neodymium magnets, so they're they're tough. <laughs> uh, trying to do it one-handed is tough, but 
you can see here. I didn't skimp uh, on the details. So everything back here is detailed. And you got the caution and the danger because this is things probably volatile fuel. Use green stuff to make these weld lines here. And you got a maid with a Kalishnikov as a driver. And you've got uh, some implements of carnage, exhaust pipes. Uh, this is actually a Jada truck on a Hot Wheels chassis. And uh, this is a mix of a couple different pieces off of a uh, cheapo uh, cab over truck and uh, it was too small for gas lands but it was the right scale for this filed off the Hot Wheels logos and everything and then gave it these nice white wall tires and that turned out beautiful I'm really happy with how they turned out um, and uh, so yeah this is this is a beautiful, beautiful machine. I'm really, I don't know if I'll win, uh, but as far as vehicles that, oh, there, when they click, now it'll stay. Um, as far as vehicles go, this is one I'm really happy with. And then we have our maids. And I 3D printed those. And you can tell she's the same figure as this one. Um... So you can see here, and uh, so same figure, just I slightly changed the paint uh, job, and uh, you know clip the the hands and change the hands a little bit. But this you know this one here's got you know the the knee socks and the this one's got the short mini skirt and little red high heels which is probably not what you want to wear as a maid but uh i think it looks i think it fits the theme <laughs> um got some uh paper uh advertisements for a braxo for the fallout cleaning service you know for soap um you can see here you can see my flamethrowers Tried to do a heat effect where it was going from the colder reds to the hotter whites and yellows. And then it's, you know, it's, it's hot at the base and then it cools off at the top. Oh, that's green stuff. And, uh, let's see, now that this is, now you can see that, uh, it's just a magnet. And, uh, so if I want to change out the weapons at some point, I could. The armatures are off of a final faction piece, and uh, then you got the course pieces from uh, different Hot Wheels cars, and the couch is um, out of a Volkswagen, it's the back seat out of a Volkswagen Bug, um, because after a hard days of, uh, you know, racing around in the wasteland and cleaning up messes, you know, you gotta have a place to crash and, and rest, so uh, that's what that is. And then, of course, this mate here, she's got the uh, task of uh, sorting through all these grenades and getting them ready for the next battle. And this gate here, it kind of moves a little bit, but uh, not quite. And then uh, I did this. So how's my driving? <laughs> I think it would probably have been better if I had made it WRKD for wrecked, but I didn't think of it at the time. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I really do think this is one of my favorite vehicles that I've done. And, uh, so yeah, that's what I've gotten completed. Um, zombies, go-karts, bikes, a lot of Rusty's builds, and, uh, a lot of 3D printed stuff that I, I had some fun with. Uh, some of it was basically I had to salvage because it didn't, like I said, it didn't print well. But that's one thing about a 3D printer is it's all, everything's a learning experience. So, anyway, uh, be sure to check uh, King of Cats Crafts in the coming days. Um, and 
like I said, some of these will be on the store. The Rusty's uh, builds will be a little more than $8 normally because they're going to have the trailer. So I'm probably going to sell those for about $12. Um, but I think that's fair. So anyway, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, always feel free to comment. And thank you for your time. Um, the next video will be some flea market finds that I've got a hold of. And uh, um, if I have time, I have uh, some stuff I want to unbox and, and show. Um, and uh, that should be fun. So um, thank you um, and take care and goodbye.